Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. All right, let's have a look at some algebra questions. So the 2017 one, and um, we're going to specifically focus on questions here that have simultaneous equations in them. So 2017 was one of them, question four. Part A though was solve for x. 11x minus five bracket, two x minus one equals three bracket six minus x plus three. Okay, so first things first, when you've got brackets and a number outside them like such, that means multiply. So you multiply five by everything in the bracket and you're finished multiplying by five when the bracket closes. And the same on this side, it is this bracket multiply by three and you're finished multiplying by three when the bracket closes. So in other words, three does not get multiplied by the three out there. Okay, why do we use brackets for multiplying? Um, well, let me try and explain. Okay, we could have written down three multiplied by six uh, plus three multiplied by minus x. Okay, now here lies the problem, trying to tell the difference between multiply and x in algebra. So when we're doing algebra questions, we tend not to use the multiplied sign, we use brackets. Okay, so let's multiply it out. So 11x, well, there's nothing to be done with that just yet. So it's 11x. Now minus five times two x, well, minus by plus is a minus, five twos are 10 x. Then uh, it's minus five by minus one. So minus by minus is a plus, five ones are five. So that's the left-hand side equals three by six, six, 12, 18. Three by minus x is minus three x. I'm done multiplying by three now. So I to just take down the plus three. Okay, um, so you can tidy up here now or you can tidy up at the end, okay? Um, let's tidy up here now. So 11x minus 10x is x plus five there on the left. 18 and three is 21 minus three x. You can never merge x terms with numbers. Uh, you just can't do that. So that's why the, I could tidy up the x terms together. 11 take away 10 is one x, but I can't merge the five in with it. And in this way, I could tidy up the two numbers, 18 and three is 21, but I can't merge the minus three x's into it. So it's a solve question, which means down the bottom, I'm trying to get x is equal to a number. Okay, that's what I'm striving to get. So I'm going to say x is to one side. So in other words, I'm going to bring the x terms over to the left and then the numbers I'm going to bring over to the other side. So you'll often hear me saying x is to one side, numbers to the other. That's what I mean by that. So that on the left, I will have the x that's already there. That's not changing. Anything that changes side and by side, I mean travels over to that equals to sign that balance symbol in the middle. Anything that travels over that changes sign. Okay, 21 was already on the right. That's not going to change sign, but the plus five is going to change side. So he becomes minus five. So that I end up with x plus three x is four x. 21 minus five is 16. Divide by the number in front of x so that you get x equals four. Okay, uh, I don't have the marking scheme to hand, but typically that would be worth 10 marks and this would be worth 15. Okay, part B, solve the simultaneous equations y plus five equals to two x, x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. Okay, you may have the line and the coordinate geometry, the line and the circle done. Um, you might recognize that that is a circle with center zero, zero and radius five. If you don't recognize that, that's okay. You don't need to know that per se. And this um, equation on top is a line, okay? So what I have up here is some sort of a circle, okay? And some sort of a line going through it, okay? And it tells me to solve the simultaneous equations, okay? So in algebra, that's fine to solve it for X and Y in, 
in coordinate geometry time terms, you're actually finding where does that line intersect with the circle? Where does this line intersect with this circle? OK, so what you'll end up solving is you'll get an X, Y point there and you'll get an X, Y point here because obviously a line cuts through a circle normally at two points. OK, of course, it could be a tangent that would just cut through at one point here, but that's a special case. So that's what you're ending up doing here, right? This is different to a normal uh, simultaneous equation and a normal simultaneous equation would look something like uh, 2y plus 3 equals 4x, something like that, OK? Um, in other words, there's no squared terms. And in that case, we cancel either the x's or the y's and we solve for the other letter, OK? It's not that one here. You know it by the x squares. So the steps to this one is you take the linear equation, OK, the line, and you write it in terms of a letter. So in terms of a letter means I'm either going to write it as y equals. So in that case, I'd bring the 5 over and I get 2x minus 5. Or you could write it in terms of x. So can you see in this case, I have 2x is equal to y plus 5. Um, but I have to write it in terms of x, so I have to divide across by 2. So I'd have x is equal to a half y. Half y is the same as y over 2 plus 5 over 2. OK, so that's it written in terms of y. That's what that maths language means. This is it written in terms of x. OK, so you write it in terms of a letter. I say a letter because it doesn't matter whether you write it in terms of x or y. You write it in terms of whichever one is easier. Now, when you look at them, you see one of them is fraction based and the other one isn't. So that's obviously a lot easier to handle than the fraction based one. OK, so let us choose in this one to write it in terms of y. OK, so by that I mean we are going to take down y plus 5 is equal to 2x. So we're going to write it in terms of a letter. OK, and the letter we're choosing is y, which means I'm going to write it as y equals everything else. So 2x minus 5. OK, why do I do that? Well, you see where y appears in the second equation, the equation you haven't used. Instead of y, I'm going to sub in 2x minus 5. OK, so I'm going to take that 2x minus 5 and I'm going to sub it in there for the y. OK, so my next step then, sub into the other equation. OK, and this would be the squared equation, if that makes sense. OK, so my squared equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 instead of y because I have y equals. Instead of y, I'm putting 2x minus 5. It is squared, OK, because it's y squared. And of course, I keep the other bits the same. OK, why did I do that? OK, you can only ever solve an equation with one unknown at a time. So by me rewriting this one, OK, and subbing it in, can you see now that when I look across, I only have one unknown, which is the x. There are no y's. OK, and when there's only one, equa one letter, one variable in an equation, you can solve it. OK, so how do I do that? Well, now you just uh, multiply it out. So I just put square brackets here for a minute so that I can take care of multiplying this out. Equals 25. Oh. So I have x squared plus 2x by 2x. Two, well, let's write 2x by everything in the second bracket minus 5 by everything in the second bracket, OK? That's one way of multiplying them out. We split the first bracket, and it's 2x by everything in the second bracket. And then we go back for the minus 5 by everything in the second bracket, OK? It's one line longer, but it makes sense. x squared plus. 
So now I have 2x by 2x, 4x squared, 2x by minus 5 is minus 10x. And then you have minus 5 by 2x is minus 10x again. Minus by minus is a plus 25 equals 25. OK, and what you normally get in this case is a quadratic, OK, because remember what we're doing. I have a circle. I have a line going through it. So I'm going to have two points of intersection, OK? So by having a quadratic here, you're going to get two answers for x, OK? One x-coordinate over here and the other x-coordinate over here. And then we're going to go back to find the two y's, OK? That's what we're doing. So I'm not surprised to see a quadratic here because I need two answers for x. So let's tidy it up. x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. Minus 10x minus 10x is minus 20x. I'm going to bring over that 25 because, of course, a quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. OK, so that's why that 25 had to come over so that I can have everything on the left hand side. Or I have 5x squared minus 20x plus 25 minus 25 actually cancels. OK, so I thought it was going to be a quadratic. It's it's not because the number cancelled and um, it's taking out the highest common factor. So the highest common factor, if I look at the terms 5x squared and 20x, well, I can see 5 is common in both terms. And there's also an x in both terms. OK, so what must I multiply by 5x to bring it up to 5x squared? Well, I need another x. What must I multiply by 5x to bring it up to 20x? I need a 4. OK, and by writing it as its factors like this, because these are the factors of 5x squared minus 20x, you let each factor equal 0. OK, so one of my solutions is going to come from 5x being equal to 0, and the other solution is going to come from x minus 4 equal to 0. Okay, 5x is equal to 0, x is equal to 0, x is equal to 4. OK, so there's my two x values. So I know that up here, one of these x values is 0 and the other is 4. OK, I'm not quite finished yet because I need to find my y values. OK, so let me just delete out him a little bit. To give us a little bit of room and we'll do it over here. OK, so we know that we, we wrote. So just like any other simultaneous equation, I take my two x values one at a time and I sub them into either equation. OK, the easiest equation to work with because it's got no squares is the linear one. And you've already written it as y equals. All right. OK, you've already jiggled it around. So sub into y equals 2x minus 5. OK, so I'm going over here. So the first one I have is when x is 0. Well, then y is equal to 2 times 0 minus 5. So 2 zeros are 0, which is minus 5. So that is the point 0 minus 5. OK, and when x is 4, what's my y? Well, y is equal to 2 times 4 minus 5. 2 fours are 8, minus 5 is 3. So that is the point x comma y or 4 comma 3. So they are your two solutions. x is equal to 0, x is equal to 4, y is equal to minus 5, y is equal to 3. So you can write them down like that separately, like this as the letters. Or so like this, or you can write them down as their points of intersection, which is that. It's, it's a bit like your couples. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our Level 7 in Electronic and Computer Engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the Level 8 in Electronics and Self-Driving Technologies and from there to the Masters. Check out the link below for more information.